Howdy. I'm Cyber Actress. Outlandishly crafted. And today, we're talking about community abuse and entitlement. We, for many years, have been dealing with an issue of entitlement and community abuse in the Discord channels. And it, it, it's we've tried countless countermeasures. I mean, it's in the rules. Don't ask for help. Unless it's in a help channel, don't ask for help in the general channels. It's in the rules, in some channels. We've made the name of the chat channels not help, and yet people still post help in there because they are entitled or because they're lazy. And when you call them out on it, they don't seem to think that that's abusive to the community. So let's talk about that. If I walk into Walmart right now, and I'm so entitled that I go to the front door and I just start screaming, I need help, somebody help me, I need help, I'm too lazy to walk to the service counter. Is that not abusive to the staff and to the company and to all of the customers that are trying to follow the basic society rules of social order and go to the right place and they go to the checkout line what if you go and you got your hamburger and then you just stood at the front door and you just yelled somebody check me out i'm too lazy to go through the checkout line wouldn't that be abusive to the store owners and the customers who are waiting in line patiently not to mention you yelling at everybody and demanding because you're so entitled um what about in your own home what if you're just lazy and you peed on the floor in the middle of the rug instead of going to the bathroom? Would that be abusive to your family members, to your pets even, uh, because you're so entitled that someone else is going to pick up or clean up your mess in the middle of the floor? Why not just take a huge dump in the middle of the floor every day then if it's not abusive to the rest of the people around you? So when we see stuff like this, is someone saying, I have a quick question, which they have no idea if it's a quick question or not. One, because they're new. Two, because why would they, how would they know if it's a quick question? They're asking a question because they don't know. So saying, oh, well, it's a quick question. It's just showing your entitlement, that you are so entitled that you think that, well, because it's a quick question, it's okay because it's me anybody else they need to go to a, a help you know help area and go to the right place and follow the rules but because it's me and it's a quick question i can break the rules and then it's oh well there's an excuse i'm too lazy or i'm on a cell phone so because i'm on a cell phone you all need to do the development for me that that's entitlement. You are, because of your situation or your choices, making someone else be responsible for your sorry ass. That's not cool, and that's abusive to the community. Um, I don't want to make a thread. Again, entitlement, abusive to the community. I'm going to instead spam the normal general chat and make it to where everybody has to see what I'm doing even though we see these questions daily the the uh, rules say don't do it the channel says don't do it the mods have said don't do it you can scroll up only a few posts and see other people doing it and being told to stop doing it it's a daily thing 10 15 20 times a day we're having to tell people please just follow the rules because the entitlement is so off the charts in my opinion, because government schools are just holding everybody's hands and not holding them accountable for being good citizens. So it, it's ridiculous that when you get this, not only do they not say what format, what game are they playing, what are they developing for, they don't add enough information, which is the entire reason you need to go and create a thread and go to the help channel. Because you don't know what the fuck you're asking, and then you keep asking it, and then you say, well, oh, 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 nobody's answering my question. Because you're not even answering the question to where someone could. You've got to ask the question to the point that someone can answer it, which is also in the rules. 
you agree to the rules when you join the server and then you just instantly break the server but that's not abusive to the community that's not your entitlement showing through that you don't care about other people. You don't care about what you're doing to them and the wasting of their time. You only care that you had a quick question and your time is more valuable than everybody else's. That's entitlement and it's toxic in the community. And it happens constantly. And when you call someone else out, other people will be like, well, it's not that big of a deal. Well, if it wasn't that big of a deal, then why do we have to have countless countermeasures? Why is it in the rules? Why do they have to agree to the rules? Why is it in the channel name? Why do we have all of these other, other things for it? Why do we have auto posts? Why do we have memes? Why do we have videos about it? We have to do all of this stuff just to keep it to the bare minimum of what we can handle because it's overloading the community channels. We're already loaded, overloaded with help chat or help questions because Mojang won't help us and they've added JS in and all this other stuff. So as the load of help gets higher and higher, more people need help, more people need help. These people in the community that are entitled ruin that and cause more problems for the people doing the help. Now we have to scroll through a shit ton of messages that have nothing to do with that channel just to see what the chat is on that channel. That's abusive. That wastes everybody in the community's time because you are entitled. It's not cool. It's not okay. It shouldn't be allowed. And the mods that keep allowing it and saying, oh, no big deal. Here, I'll just give you the answer and, and just do exactly what your entitlement was asking for. Why are they ever going to stop or learn the lesson if the mods don't hold them accountable? And, oh, it's not abusive. Of course it's abusive. If it wasn't abusive, the entire community wouldn't be having it out all the time about it and saying, please go to help channel, please go to help channel, stop asking for help in general chat. If it wasn't abusive and it didn't cause problems, then we wouldn't be making videos about it constantly. We wouldn't have to be telling the community to get your fucking head out of your ass and follow the basic rules of society. You do it at Walmart, you do it at Taco Bell, you do it in your schools, you do it at courthouses, you do it when you walk on the fucking sidewalk. But because of your entitlement, and I don't know, do your parents just like wipe your ass for you? Do they let you shit in the carpet and let you shit in the middle of the floor? Because I have a really hard time believing that your parents also support this logic of just go anywhere and break the rules and just do whatever the hell you want. Right? So everywhere in your life, you need to follow basic social structure rules, except when you come into a Discord channel. How stupid do you have to be? How entitled do you have to be? How much do you have to not care about your fellow community members to do stuff like that and say, well, I'm on mobile, so I'm not going to create a form post or I'm not going to go to the correct place to ask for questions or I'm on mobile, so you should do this for me. And then they demand you do stuff. It, when someone asks a help question in a general chat, they're demanding that you stop what you're doing and help them instead of them going to the correct place to do it. It's the same thing if you go to Walmart and you walk up to an employee and you demand that they help you find something or you demand that they help you with something. It, it, you go to the meat department and demand they help you with medicines and the medical department? No, because that's against the social norm. That's against the social rules. That's entitlement. So could you stop? Maybe. And if your friends are doing it, tell them to stop. Call them out. It's not cool. It's not okay. And it causes problems in the community. Stop doing it. It's that easy. You join the Discord server. You read the rules. You agree to the rules. You follow the rules. And granted, once in a while, there might be a miscommunication because of the, la the language barrier. This is not it. They are literally saying it's a quick question. Quick questions are not allowed in general chat. I'm too lazy. Oh, I don't want to make a thread. Oh, I don't want to go to a channel. I just want you to do it for me now, bitch. That's not cool. So, I don't know how else to bring this out. I've made nice guides about it. We post every day about it, calling people out, saying this is abusive to the community. Could you please stop? 
and it keeps happening, and the mods just, eh, no big deal. Well, the reason why it keeps happening is because the mods allow it, and then they answer the questions, and they're not holding people accountable that these are the rules and you need to follow the rules. It's that basic. Follow the rules or get kicked. How hard is that? So, there you go. That's my talk on entitlement and uh, community abuse. Please read the rules and follow the rules. Um, it's it's that simple. If you have an entitlement issue, I maybe get professional help. You know, maybe talk to your parents about it. Maybe check yourself at the door. So, again, I'm Cyberax with Outlandishly Crafted, and I hate doing guides like this, but it's one of those things where every morning I'm wasting up to people just wasting my time. I would like to help people. I'd like to do more help, but the the toxic people and the entitled people just waste our time. So, thanks for watching, and uh, hope you like the guide. Like and subscribe, and if you don't like it, well, put a comment down in the bottom. If you did like it, put a comment in, and uh, I'll get the next guide out soon.